Now, it's no secret that I've literally been staying inside way too much, especially during these cold months. But that doesn't mean that I'm not busy or that I don't want to be spending all of my time in my kitchen. Luckily, I don't have to meal prep or plan and I can still eat well and feel my best now that I leave all of my meals to Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24-7 with fresh, never frozen prepared meals that are so delicious, you wouldn't believe that they're actually good for you. Factor saves me time by delivering chef-crafted meals to my doorstep, eliminating the hassles of grocery shopping and meal prep. Not to mention the cleanup, there are no dishes to wash here. And with more than 29 meal options each week, I'm literally never bored. My big thing right now is I'm always wondering what I should have for dinner. Dinner is always my thing that I just don't ever know. My creativity goes out the door. I'm drained by the end of the day. I don't want to think about it. Factor has absolutely saved my life for dinner so many times. Head to go.factor75.com slash manifest120 and use code manifest120 to get $120 off. That's code manifest120 at go.factor75.com slash manifest120 for $120 off. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Manifest with Tori DeSimone. I'm your host, Tori DeSimone, and today we are talking about my current favorite products. Um, I'm literally going into like everything. We got hair, skincare, makeup, clothes, shoes, drinks, kitchen accessories, scents, workouts, random stuff. I'm literally talking everything favorites right now. And yeah, I just really wanted to get this episode out there. I've been getting a lot of questions about like, well, specifically my hair care routine and... I figured maybe as well throw a lot of other stuff in there too. Plus, I love listening to these kinds of episodes and I love watching like product recommendations on stories and like member favorites on YouTube. Like those used to be some of my favorite videos. So I was just like hearing what people are really into. And I find that a lot of YouTubers that I follow and that I routinely watch are people that will constantly share like what products they use and stuff that they love. So I wanted to put my own rendition out there. Also, if you guys hear my washer and dryer in the background of this episode, I apologize. It it's they're just both very loud. So I apologize, but girls gotta do laundry today. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, just take it as like some ASMR in the background, if you will. Speaking of background, you guys can always watch my um, episodes on video. Recently, that's been like my thing is putting on specifically the morning toast. I just became a toaster four days ago. And, you know, I have to say they're like, they're so funny. Um, and I was never like a big pop culture girly until I started Like once they would do their five stories, I was like, oh, I'm genuinely very interested in all this stuff. So maybe I am a pop culture girly. Um, But yeah, I just, oh yeah, what was I saying? I wake up and I love putting a podcast on my TV as I like do some like background work. I just love, I just feel like I feel comforted. Like it's like you're having people on in your house and it's awesome. I really love it. And yeah, so Manifest is also always on video if you guys want to go watch it. Look, it's nowhere near professional. Like if you guys watch my video podcast, then you know it's literally just me on my couch or sitting at my table and I record it with my iPad. It is so not professional, which if you guys listened to last week's episode, you guys know that I think the word professional should be professionable, but so we'll say that it's so not professionable, but It works for me. It works for you guys. And I think it's cozy vibes. Speaking of cozy vibes, I'm just on a roll with these transitions from one topic to another. It is super cozy in here today. I went to TJ Maxx last night and bought new candles and the candle that I'm burning is so delicious. I want to wear it as a perfume. It is so yummy. I don't know what it's called. I should probably go look, but that means I have to go get up and I don't feel like getting up, but it's yummy. It literally smells like a delicate, no, decadent is what I'm looking for. Decadent perfume. It's rich. It's savory. It's like sexy. Oh my God. It smells amazing. And I feel like this time of year, it's March currently, is so bizarre 
for scents and candles specifically because like what do you put on in like the end of winter beginnings of spring you know no more Christmas scents obviously you can't do like the deep winter scents and it's a little too soon for like anything light florally stuff like that I did buy some beach scents yesterday which will be really nice to burn when the weather starts getting warmer in like April uh, but then in May, I head down to the beach. So I really only have like another month here um, before I'm back down in Sea Isle and the scenery of my podcast episodes change. So who knows where we'll be for those, but probably in my room at the beach. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, it's cozy in here. I have a candle burning. My shades are like half down, which now I'm realizing the lighting probably isn't amazing, but whatever. And it's raining out today and yeah uh it's definitely cozy vibes it's also saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's day even though when you guys are listening to this it's four days ago but i'm wearing a green eagle sweatshirt today so don't pinch me um all right i don't really have any life updates because i'm so excited to talk about my favorite products so let's just jump right into this episode guys i am so excited to talk about this so like I said, I really just want to talk about some products that I adore. Um, I will try my best to have these all linked in the show notes and on my YouTube video. If you guys want to like get a direct link to the products, I do make a small commission off them. If that bothers anyone, um, I do. And the theme of all of my products that I have been using, specifically skincare and makeup, is natural enhancements and I think that's like an overall trend for everyone right now like I know the clean girl makeup is very in I don't even know how to do that if I'm being honest with you guys but like I feel like it's definitely not 2016 makeup anymore and very much so like light us but enhanced makeup which I really like that whole theme and I find that I don't even really wear like a full face of makeup anymore. If I do, it's literally like one or two days a week, absolute maximum. Most of the time I let my skincare do the talking and I only really wear makeup if I feel like I have to, um, like if I'm going out to a dinner or like I, re- I put makeup on for the first video podcast but then I don't think I did it again after that. So I really don't wear makeup anymore. And when I do, it's just very light, natural, enhanced. And that's just kind of my vibe for everything. Like it's me, I'm comfy. I feel true to myself, but just an enhanced version of myself. And all of my products reflect that. It's just like, it's just me, but better is how I like to put it. And I think that These products allow me to put effort in and feel really good about what I'm putting on my face, what I'm putting in my hair, my body does it, all that sort of stuff. It makes me feel really good and like I'm putting in a lot of effort. And when I put effort into my appearance and, you know, whatever, I find that I'm incredibly more productive. I'm very motivated. I'm inspired throughout the day. I get a lot more done. And I just feel like I have my life together as opposed to when I stay in sweatpants all day, my skin feels dry. I don't take a shower that day. And don't, don't get me wrong. Those days happen. And I always notice that I just feel not as good. So it's really important to me to do some sort of hygiene routine or skincare routine, makeup routine, whatever it might be every day to just kind of show up as my best self, but it's still me, still very natural, true to myself and enhanced. So let's begin. Uh, We'll go starting top down. Let's start with my hair. I get a lot of questions about my hair. Of course, my hair is like back today as I'm filming this, Um, but I get a lot of questions about my hair. A lot of you guys are saying that it looks really thick, really healthy, really long. I cannot thank you enough. Those are like the best compliments you could ever give someone when it comes to their hair. And I really think that, well, first of all, it's been years in the making. Um, I used to bleach my hair all the time. I used to have extensions in my hair. And in the beginning of quarantine, like I'm talking like March 2020, I took out my extensions and my hair was super short, super blonde and super 
thinned out. And you know what? Here's my theory on extensions. Really quick, very quick side tangent. I believe when people say like, oh, extensions don't damage your hair. Like we'll talk about hand tides, for example, when they say, oh, it doesn't damage your hair. I believe that. And especially when you think about it, like it's really only attached to one small row of your head. So I do believe that hand tied extensions, if properly maintained and you care for them outside the salon, you go in for your move up, stuff like that. I do believe that they do not ruin your hair. However, in order to blend extensions, your stylist has to blend your hair with the extensions, which typically results in a lot of your own hair getting thinned out to blend into this new thick weft that's like going into your into your hair. So I I don't think they ruin your hair, but I do think they thin out your hair because of the haircut that you get to blend them. I don't know if that's right. Like that's just my theory on them, but that's why whenever I take my extensions out, I feel like my hair is a lot thinner than it was before because of the haircut that they had to give to thin out my hair extensions uh, to make them blend. And that I never see talked about, but I always hear people be like, oh, I feel like my hair got so much thinner after, especially hand ties. But when you think about it, they're really only attached like literally one small, small row, maybe two or three on your head. So I, I don't think it's that. I think it's the haircut. With tape-ins, I could totally see how like that could ruin your hair with like the glue and stuff. I personally never had any damage with my hair extensions whenever I had tape-ins or hand tides. I do prefer tape-ins to hand tides. I don't have any hair extensions in right now. But um, I also felt like the tape-ins because it was like more hair all over my head. I didn't have to get a, th- a thinning haircut to make them blend, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I don't know why I went on that whole extension tangent. I don't have any extensions in, but in the beginning of quarantine, my hair was thin, bleached. Um, it wasn't that damaged, but it was just dry. So I've kind of been on like a hair journey ever since then. So it's two years in the making. My hair has definitely grown a lot. I feel like it sort of stops once it hits a certain point. And my ends could definitely use a good trim, but I just don't want to lose the length if I'm being honest. Um, But I want to say thank you for all the compliments you guys give. But let's get into the products. So first of all, dyeing my hair brown was truly the best thing that I could have ever done for myself and my hair. My hair felt immediately better as soon as I dyed it. It just felt like normal hair again. Bleached hair for my hair texture never felt like normal hair. Like I see some people that dye their hair blonde like um, Kenzie Elizabeth, for example, dyed her hair blonde and her hair still behaves the same way blonde that it did like brunette. My hair did not behave the same blonde as it did brunette. And like when I shower, my hair would get so puffy, so frizzy, so all these sorts of things. And it just wasn't normal hair. Like it was clearly just very porous, very open. And obviously putting color back in it closes that a little bit. So my hair just behaves a lot more normal and naturally now, which is amazing. So dyeing my hair brown has been key for hair health. It just feels really normal. And I also love the brown. Um, I was really ready to go brunette. I got a lot of people saying like, oh, you make me want to dye my hair brunette. While I love it and while I want to turn the whole world brunette, if you're a blonde and you want to go brunette, you have to really want to go brunette because if you do it like on a whim, odds are you're going to hate it, you're going to regret it, and then you're going to damage your hair going back to blonde. So really make sure it's what you want to do. Like I was at a point where I was thinking about this for years and years and years and years, and I just never was able to do it. Um, And then one day I was just like, you know what? Like I am ready. It's what I want to do. And then I started like resenting the blonde because I was so ready for brunette hair. So once you feel like you're there, I think you're ready for it. Um, But it's a decision that you have to make. And like, just because I go brunette doesn't mean like you have to, you know what I mean? Even though I love it. Okay. Let's talk about the actual products now. Shampoo and conditioner. So my hairdresser Vin gave me um, the Redken Great Lengths shampoo and conditioner. So I rotate between that and Olaplex four and five, which is their shampoo and conditioner. And I have to say, I really like the Redken a lot more than the Olaplex. Reason being, whenever I use the Redken, my hair out of the shower dries naturally, beautifully. It air dries so soft, so not frizzy. It's beautiful. 
Olaplex, um, it makes my hair feel good, but it doesn't dry air dry like beautifully. And most of the time I do have my hair air dry. So how it air dries is important to me. And I notice a really big difference between the Redken Great Lengths versus Olaplex. So I love the Redken Great Lengths. Also, now that I'm brunette and not blonde, I don't feel like I need as much Olaplex help in the shampoo conditioner area as I did like before. So um, I probably won't repurchase. Uh, no, I'll repurchase both, but I use the Redken Great Lengths way more. Um, which is shocking to me because I was a huge Olaplex girl. I really believe in deep conditioners. I use deep conditioners every single time I'm in the shower. So I'll normally use two or three conditioners every time. So like I'll shampoo my hair. Oh, also I want to say this. I have very um, high porosity hair. I don't, I don't know if that's even the right term. My hair can take a lot of product and it doesn't look greasy. I wash my hair about once a week, honestly. Like typically like Monday nights or Tuesday mornings is when I wash my hair. Um, sometimes twice a week, but it's typically just once a week and my hair can take it. My mom and my sister have very, very thick, coarse, curly hair. Um, I have very thick, coarse hair, but it's not curly. Um, it's like kind of like wavy straight in between. I don't know. It's just like this weird bend. Um, but it's still thick and very coarse like my mom and sister. So it can take a lot of product and I'm really lucky for that. So you guys will like find that in this routine, I use a lot of products. Um, so I use, so I do shampoo and then I do conditioner, either Olaplex or Red King Great Lengths conditioner. And then I will put on a deep conditioning mask. Honestly, I've been using this one for years. I really like it. It's the L'Oreal Le Balm hair mask. It's like yellow. You can get it at literally Target, CVS, grocery stores, like anywhere. And then over top of that, I put on Olaplex number eight. Um, it says to leave it on in the shower for like 10 minutes, but sometimes I will leave it on for five or for 15, depending on like what I'm doing in the shower from doing like the shower where you do like everything. It definitely stays on longer. But if I'm just like putting my conditioner and rinsing my body, like shaving like my armpits and then I'm done, it stays in for like two or three minutes. So I always use deep conditioners in the shower. I rinse all that out and then out of the shower, I always do these products. Um, I use the It's a 10 leave-in, the Redken leave-in. It's the Redken Great Lengths leave-in. That makes a huge difference too. But I know that the shampoo and conditioner make a big difference because I always use these same products. Like they never, I will never wash my hair and not use these products. And that's a fact. I'd rather not wash my hair if I don't have these products, then wash my hair and not use these products. What I'm getting at is if I don't have these products, I won't wash my hair. So I always use these, but that's how I know that the Red King Great Lengths Shampoo and Conditioner is game changer because the after shower products have never changed, but my hair changes depending on my shampoo and conditioner. So I use the It's a 10 leave-in, the Red King Great Lengths leave-in, Olaplex 6 and 7. And I mix... Uh, those four all together, put them all in my hair. And then if I'm blow drying my hair, I will use the Shuamora blow dry oil. But if I'm not blow drying my hair, I won't use it. Um, but that makes your hair like silk, like it's gorgeous. Um, and then styling, I typically don't style my hair. If I do, I'll do it like once a week and then it like lasts for the whole week, which is really nice. I'm very lucky that way. Um, like when I went to Idaho, I curled my hair with a curling iron that I'll talk about in a second, but I curled my hair on the Tuesday that we flew out. And then we flew, no, we flew out on a Wednesday. We flew home on a Tuesday, like the following, like six days later. And my hair was still like styled. It looked fine. Um, so I only had to do it once, which is really awesome. Um, so the products or the hair tools that I use, I love my Dyson blow dryer. I don't have a Dyson air wrap. Um, these girls are just making it look like it's a $600 purchase as if it's like a $20 thing that is $600. I I'm sorry. I just can't spend that on a blow dryer. I just can't. I got my Dyson blow dryer for Christmas, uh, three or four Christmases ago. I love it. It's a great blow dryer. I'll probably never get another one. And I blow dry my hair straight with, um, a wet brush and I really like it. Then um, if I style it, I will use a Rusk straightener. I really like it. I got that one like six years ago. Probably never get another one. I love it to pieces. Um, I have the Bioionic one and a quarter extra long barrel. I really like that curling iron, titanium plates. However, the best curling iron I've ever used is the Conair one inch curling iron. When I curl my hair with that, it literally will last until my next shower. It is perfect. It is amazing. And it's like 20 bucks. So that is like my favorite curling iron ever. 
Um, and then hair masks. I used to do a lot more hair masks back in the day when I was like really trying to make my blonde hair as healthy as I could. I don't do them a ton anymore. But when I do, I will use Olaplex number three. And excuse me, if I wash my hair, it's typically after Monday night spin. So I'll watch it like wash it like either Monday night or Tuesday morning when I first wake up. And um, I teach Monday spin at 530. So like when that class is done and my hair is like sweaty, I will put Olaplex number three in my hair and just like slick it back into a bun or into a braid. And um, I'll just go to bed or wash it out that night. And yeah, so that's really the only hair mask that I do. Um, and yeah, this is the hair care that I've been doing for a really long time now. Um, I'm really happy with it. It doesn't really need to change. My hair loves it and I don't put much heat on my hair. I don't take supplements. I used to take like the hair skin nail pills, but I haven't taken those in a really long time. So I really, really like my current, uh, hair care routine. Now, it's no secret that I've literally been staying inside way too much, especially during these cold months. But that doesn't mean that I'm not busy or that I don't want to be spending all of my time in my kitchen. Luckily, I don't have to meal prep or plan and I can still eat well and feel my best now that I leave all of my meals to Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24-7 with fresh, never frozen prepared meals that are so delicious, you wouldn't believe that they're actually good for you. Factor saves me time by delivering chef-crafted meals to my doorstep, eliminating the hassles of grocery shopping and meal prep. Not to mention the cleanup, there are no dishes to wash here. Each Factor meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's even faster than ordering in, which we know I love to do, but I've stopped doing it since I have Factor. Factor tackles the tough stuff so I don't have to. Their registered dietitians and expert chefs work hand-in-hand to create meals with nutritious ingredients. And with more than 29 meal options each week, I'm literally never bored. Factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan and veggie meals, keto meals, low-calorie options, cold-pressed juices, smoothies, which are literally to die for, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and so much more to keep me fueled and focused all day long. My big thing right now is I'm always wondering what I should have for dinner. Dinner is always my thing that I just don't ever know. My creativity goes out the door. I'm drained by the end of the day. I don't want to think about it. Factor has absolutely saved my life for dinner so many times. Head to go.factor75.com slash manifest120 and use code manifest120 to get $120 off. That's code manifest120 at go.factor75.com slash manifest120 for $120 off. The majority of chronic illnesses stem from inability to manage your blood glucose levels. If you know how your body uniquely responds to different foods, sleep, stress, and exercise, you can make changes to achieve your health goals, from managing weight to optimizing longevity. Each CGM lasts 14 days, and each subscription plan includes one month of free support from a registered dietitian. NutriSense dietitians will help you identify what you should be paying attention to to achieve your health goals. They will hold your hand on your health journey. And if you're already knowledgeable in the space, they'll be able to provide more advanced tips and recommendations. If you are not enjoying doing what you're doing, then it's not going to last. Our dietitians will help you make a long-term sustainable change. Putting on a CGM is painless. The CGM program also comes with an app which helps you track your data, understand your glucose trends, log meals, see macro breakdowns, and so much more. The app will give you an overall score for each of your meals based on your body's response. NutriSense also provides a private Facebook group for members where you can find support from other members and learn about their experience with the program. Head over to NutriSense.io slash manifest and use code manifest for $30 off any subscription to the CGM program. Soft, cozy, and sustainable. Three words I don't usually use when describing my underwear, but that all changed when I tried Parade. Parade makes sustainable, creative basics that are so soft and comfortable you literally can't wait to put them on. This company launched only two and a half years ago with the mission to make underwear more accessible, inclusive, and self-expressive. Since then, they've sold over 2 million pairs. I absolutely adore Parade and not only their underwear, but also their pajama sets. I am really into Parade. Their high-rise thong has to be literally the comfiest thong I've ever put on in my entire life. It's like butter. I don't even know it's there half the time. And... 
Their sleep sets are to die for. I have this really, really cute purple set that I put in one of my Instagram reels and all of you guys went crazy for it. It is so cute. From extra small to triple extra large, Parade's inclusive sizing means you will have zero trouble finding that perfect bralette or pair of underwear. Did I mention that they are all about sustainability? Parade crafts their signature styles with super soft recycled yarns. Plus, all their products come in biodegradable packaging. And for every Parade purchase you make, they give back to organizations that support reproductive rights, racial equality, and LGBTQ plus communities. Upgrade your top drawer with an exclusive 20% off Parade. Go to yourparade.com slash manifest and use code manifest to get 20% off. That's yourparade.com slash manifest. All right, let's move on to makeup. So actually, no, let's do skincare before makeup. So I'm really into skincare right now, and it just makes me feel like I have my life together. So let's talk about all the products that I'm really loving. I'm loving the Osea Face Cleanser. Um, not sponsored. Well, they do sponsor this podcast, but they're not telling me to talk about this. But their Osea Face Cleanser is amazing. It's like a very milky, creamy cleanser. I don't feel like it dries my skin out at all. I really like it. Oh, I do want to say this. To take off my makeup, I was using the Tatcha Makeup Remover Cleanser Oil thing. It actually broke when I was flying home from Idaho, so I don't have it anymore. And I've just been using the ordinary like squalene cleanser. It's fine. Honestly, you could use coconut oil and get the exact same results. So just use coconut oil or the ordinary and it works for me. Okay. So I've been loving the Osea face cleanser. It's milky. It's creamy. It's amazing. It doesn't dry out my skin. It is the best. Um, I think Paula's choice has the best products on the market right now for skincare. I'm really obsessed with anything Paula's choice. I typically really love my three favorite products from them are the, um, exfoliant toner, I love that. It's really drying on my skin though. So I only use it like once a week and I only use it like if I'm breaking out. It's really just like if it works for me that day, I'll use it. But I notice huge differences when I use it. Um, but if my skin's already dry, like I won't use it because it really does dry up my skin. I also love the hydrating toner. I use it morning and night. It is amazing. And my favorite product ever by them is their vitamin C serum. It is so good. My skin is so even. And I was saying before, like, I didn't see a difference with vitamin C. Since I started using the Paula's Choice, I've been using it for about a month and a half to two months now. I noticed the biggest difference. My skin is just constantly, not constantly, wrong word. My skin is just even. And it's just the best way I can explain it. It's just, yeah, it's just even. It's a really, really great product. Um, the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense is my favorite moisturizer. I use it morning and night. It absolutely rocks. I've also been using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream at night and it just, it's great. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. I think that is the best product on the market. It just gives you the most gorgeous, glowy, hydrated feeling and looking skin. I absolutely love the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. It's so good. It's like my ride or die. Um, for body products, I really love Soap and Glory products. I think they smell amazing. They're affordable. They rock. Right now, I'm using the Magnify Cocoa. Um, I use the body wash and the body lotion, and it smells so good. Self-tanner. My favorite self-tanner right now, I'm really liking... Well, I want to get the Lux Unfiltered. I don't have it yet, but I hear really good things, so that's on my list to get. But I'm really loving the Saint-Tropez and Ashley Graham like collection collab that they have going on. I think it's really amazing. Um, it lasts a while. It smells better. It's obviously still smells like self tan, but it smells better. It's really easy to apply. It's like very creamy, very smooth, and it doesn't transfer horribly before you shower it off, but it's a, it's really dark. It's really nice. It's very even. It's a really good self tanner. So I like that a lot for my face. I like tan Lux face drops. Um, but I only can use them like literally once a week. I used to use them all the freaking time. And I look back on pictures and I was an Oompa Loompa. I was orange all the time. So I only use it once a week. If I use it twice a week, it starts to get really patchy. But I did just see that they came out with like a face cream. So I want to try that as well. Gradual tanners on my face don't really love me that much. Like I need like a shot of self tanner on my face. So I really like the Tan Lux um, tanning oil for my face. And I'll put that on like in between. Um, I'll do it at night and I'll do like I take off my makeup if I need to wash my face. Then I use, um, Oh, hyaluronic acid. I use the ordinary's hyaluronic acid. Then I'll put on, Oh no, sorry. I do face wash. Sorry. I'm getting this all messed up face wash. And then I do the Paula's choice 
exfoliant toner if I need it, hydrating toner, of course, and then the hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. Then I'll go in with um, face oil just straight on my face, the tanning oil. And then I'll go in with cleaning water, search intense, and then an eye cream. Eye creams, I don't really have a rider dye. I use whatever I have. Um, so, yeah, that's what I like for self-tan. For lip balm... I'm obsessed with, I have this near me at all times. I take it everywhere with me. It's a Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. So good. This is like literally the best lip balm I think I've ever used, which says a lot because I've used a lot and I love a lot, but this one is really, really good. I like it way more than the Laneige Lip Mask. I don't know. The Laneige Lip Mask used to work really well for me and then it just stopped working. Like I would go to sleep with it on and I would wake up and my lips would be really dry. When I go to bed with the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm on, oh my God, my lips are like so supple in the morning. It's amazing. So that's like the best ever. Um, I also really like the Dr. Peter Thomas Roth under eye patches. Um, and I put those on in the morning, but I only put those on on mornings that I'm like warm and cozy when I'm really cold. The last thing I want to do is put on an under eye patch. It's like so cold and wet. Like, ugh, I don't want that when I'm cold. So I only can do that really when I'm warm. Um, and then the last thing is sunscreen. This is huge. I really like the glow screen from Supergoop. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I also want to get their unseen sunscreen and their sport. Um, but yeah, I read and heard multiple times that your whole skincare routine is a waste if you don't put on sunscreen. And it's so true. So I really like the glow screen. It doesn't give me a white cast and it looks really glowy and hydrating and it complements the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense really well. So that's my skincare favorites. Let's go into makeup. Um, I know I'm kind of talking fast, but it's because I'm like passionate about all this stuff. Um, and I guess I talk fast when I'm passionate. So for makeup, I feel like there's so much hot makeup out right now. And I think TikTok is to thank for a lot of it. Um, and I just want to like, I love what's coming out in makeup right now. I really like the direction that it's going in and I'm really excited to see what more products are being released really quickly. A side note, I got the Ilia skin serum, like the tinted skin, skin serum and it is not at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like my holy grail. I'm going to use this every single day product. And it's just simply not. It is so thick. So thick. It's thicker than any foundation I've ever put on my face. I thought it was going to be like the Kosas face oil. Like light, tinted, beautiful. No, it is so thick. And I think it's because it has all this like skincare in it. So I get it. But I won't be using it every day. I was disappointed because I thought it was going to be this really light serum foundation or a serum tint that was just going to be like amazing, but it's honestly bizarre. It's so thick. I will use it, but it's not what I thought. I think it'll be great in the summer and I think you can thin it out, but it's just not what I thought it was going to be. But if you want light, like everyday throw on stuff for your skin to look really good, I got you. So this could technically fall into skincare, but I use it to enhance like my face color and like my bronze and stuff on my face. So I put it like either underneath makeup or alone on its own. So I put it in the makeup category. It's the universal tinted moisturizer in SPF 40. You can get it on Amazon. It's like in a white bottle with like a gold little like rim around it. It's really cute. The universal tinted moisturizer with SPF 40 mixed with the drunk elephant anti-pollution drops. Absolutely rocks. It is like the best combo ever. More stuff that I love for the face. The Kosas face oil rocks. Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter rocks. I use it on its own. I don't need to put a foundation over top of it. It is chef's kiss. Beautiful. The Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation rocks. The Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation mixed with the Kosas face oil game changer. That is my go to combination game changer. I recently got the Giorgio Armani luminous skin silk foundation. I know I've been sleeping on it and that I'm very behind rocks worth all the hype. It is amazing. That foundation is by far the best I've ever used. It is amazing. It looks gorgeous on the skin. I would say it's like a medium coverage, but it looks like your skin. And I used to always hear people say that, Oh, it looks like your skin, but better. This genuinely looks like your skin, but better. It is gorgeous. Worth, the, worth every single penny. Um, okay. Moving on from foundations, the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer. Wow. Big yes. Get it. The rare beauty bronzer stick. Wow. Big yes. Get it. 
Um, I'm just going to say this one time, and I know it's going to be a hot take. Fuck the Charlotte Tilbury bronzing wands or whatever. I have them. They are not it. They are not it. And let me tell you why. You put them on. They dry so quickly, so quickly. And when you eventually buff them out, they're dry and they look like powdery. It's not it. It's so not it. The um, the Chanel, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Rare Beauty Bronzer Sticks, so much better than the Charlotte Tilbury. And they're always sold out, the Charlotte Tilbury ones. And, I, I you know, it's because they were like a hot commodity. But other ones are so much better. I would recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Rare Beauty over Charlotte Tilbury till the day I die. Concealer, the Kosas Brightening Concealer. And it's also like an under eye cream at the same time. It comes like it's a wand. Yes. Big yes. Best concealer ever. I'm obsessed with it. It makes your under eyes look so hydrated, bright. It's the best. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Powder Bronzer in Medium. Big yes. The Fenty Highlight Duo in, um, it's like Chic Cheek or something like that. The one that has Girl Next Door in it. Big yes. Yes, I don't even use highlight anymore. I literally just put that on my cheeks. Sometimes I'll layer it with like that Dior Showstopper pink blush if I'm feeling in the mood for it. But I'll also just put like literally just that Fenty stuff on my cheeks, eyebrow gel, and curl my eyelashes, and I'm out the door. It is big. Yes, really, really hot. The Pat McGrath lip glosses are wow. Um, I have the one that's in the shade Pouty. It's just hot. Like it's, it's really, really cute. Also the Fenty clear lip glosses. Technically you can use any clear lip glosses, but I have the Fenty one. So that's why I'm saying Fenty big. Wow. Super hot. Love that. So if you can tell, this is really like skin lips focused. Um, I haven't been doing much with my eyes. Nothing's really been blowing me away with the eyes. So I didn't even mention them, but those are my favorite makeup products right now. I'm really into skin and I'm really into letting my natural beauty show through. And like these products are just perfect for that. So those are my makeup favorites. Let's get into clothes. I'm not a fashion girly. So please don't expect much from me in this. In my clothes and shoes episode or clothes and shoes segments, don't expect much from me. But here we go. Clothes. I am so into yoga pants or as the TikTokers say, flared leggings right now. Um, I really love them. I think they're super hot. And I think they just like really shape the legs so beautifully. So I have a current pair from Aloe and I love them. They're the high rise. They're like nice and thick, but I just ordered a pair from Aritzia that are coming like today or tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know what I think about those, but I really love yoga pants right now. Aloe is a super hot brand right now. Aloe is like very trendy. Lululemon is a staple forever, but Aloe is getting trendy right now. And I really think that they're onto something. I'm really into Aloe. Also, I'm really into matching sets, any sort of matching set. It's so hot, whether it's like a matching sweat set or a biker short sports bra set or honestly anything so into it. I just, I really think like matching sets are great. Princess Polly is my current go-to for jeans. I know a lot of people like Abercrombie. I have a couple pair of Abercrombie jeans. I also really like them, but Princess Polly, I'm really into their jeans right now and they're super cheap. Um, I love Lululemon for working out. They're free to be bras with aligned pants. Super hot for just like lounging around. It's just like makes you feel really good when you're just like doing work at home, like with a mini cropped sweatshirt from like Amazon or something. So cute. I love that. So those are the clothes that I'm into. Very like athleisure, very comfy. That's like all I really wear for shoes. Um, yesterday I actually had to go to the foot doctor long story short. I'll explain another episode, but like I have like a really angry nerve in my foot. Um, but I had to go to the foot doctor yesterday and he was like, so what shoes do you wear? And I was like, Uggs. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ugg slippers. Um, obviously the Ugg mini boots were like the hot shoe of like Christmas. I mean, I've, I've had those shoes girl. So I've been on the hot girl wave, I guess, but the Ugg slippers, like the ones you just like slip your feet in. Um, not like the actual like house slippers, but the, they have like an open back, and but they're like covered on the top. You know what I mean? The Ugg slippers, they rock. Um, I think they're hot. They just, they're awesome. Nike Air Maxes, big, big fan of Nike Air Maxes. And that's all I wrote down because I'm not much of a shoe girl. Like I'm really not. I'm also not the like baggy jean and dunk girly. So don't expect that from me. I almost bought a pair of dunks and, um, I think I was next to like Katie Brown and I was like, should I buy a pair of dunks? And she's like, who are you? I'm like, you're so right. So I never bought a pair of dunks and, um, I don't want to say I never will, but as of me right now, it's just not, I'm not that kind of girly. 
All right, let's get into drinks. My favorite drinks, spicy margaritas. I am obsessed with. I went out to dinner last night and I got a spicy margarita, but they put so much metalled cucumber in it. I do not like cucumbers. So I don't know why there was so much cucumber in a spicy margarita. I did not want that. But I have the best spicy margarita recipe ever. Get ready. I shared it in last week's episode, but I'll share it again. The juice of one orange, the juice of three limes, three jalapeno coins, a splash of agave, two shots of Blanco tequila, and a tahine rimmed glass shaken up, poured over ice. Amazing. Skinny, spicy margarita. It is the best and it's hot girl. It's hot girl. So get on the spicy marg wave. It's going to be a movement for the summertime. Um, I'm also really loving orange juice in the mornings. It is so good. My favorite is Uncle Matt's orange juice, which sounds just like Nat's orange juice, which I know is another popular orange juice. So I don't know how they both got on the market, but they did. So I like them both. And my like little local grocery store sells Uncle Matt's. So that's the one that I get. And it is so good. I don't mind pulp in my orange shoes. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I just think it tastes so fresh when there's pulp in it. I buy it without pulp, but if there was pulp in it, I would not be mad. I'm really into cappuccinos. You guys know that. Um, I love oat milk in my cappuccinos. Honestly though, lately I've been trying to do almond milk in my cappuccinos. It's just not it. When you steam the milk, it just gets really weird. And I even like Googled like the right temperature to steam almond milk and almond milk steamed is just not it. So I'm just going to stick with my oat milk and that's that on that. Dirty chai lattes iced with almond milk. However, so good. Really into that these days. I get two shots of espresso and it's divine. I'm also really into iced water with lemon. I know, not shocking, not new information, but I'm really into it. All five of those drinks, hot girl to me. Let's talk about kitchen accessories that are my favorites right now. The Breville espresso machine. Investment. Save up. Birthday gift, holiday gift, anniversary gift, whatever it might be save up, treat yourself. It is such a good investment. I feel like I've already made the money back considering a dirty chai latte at Starbucks is $7. That's actually robbery. Like I can't believe that. But anyway, um, yeah, I make so many drinks with my Breville espresso machine worth every single penny. I am so in love with it. Um, I really like my simply modern tumbler cup. If you guys are watching my YouTube video, it's that cup right there. And I just find that I drink so much more water with it. And I know people say that all the time, but it's true. I drink a lot more water with it and it fits in all your cup holders. I bring it to spin with me. I bring it to Pilates with me and I just love it. It's really cute. And you can wash it in the dishwasher because I hate hand washing dishes. When I make my spicy marks, I need a good lemon squeezer and it's just one of my favorite kitchen accessories lately is a lemon squeezer. Another one of my favorite kitchen accessories is a guac bowl maker. The ones that have like, uh, I forget what they're called, but they have like the thing and you like stomp down on, not stomp down with your feet, but like you mash it. Like when you get like table side guac and they do that thing at the table for you when they make your guac, that bowl is game changer. I asked for it for Christmas and my sister got it for me and it is game changer. Okay, let's talk about scents. So we talked about this a little bit. Beach scented candles. I love them. They make me feel very happy, very beach. Coconut lime is such a nostalgic scent for me. I will never get over it. I've yet to light them yet. However, I have them stockpiled and I'm ready to go. Sweet candles, but not vanilla. I'm talking sweet candles that smell like a decadent perfume. Like you want to put it all over your body. Those are the kind of candles that I'm obsessed with right now. Um, I also have this one candle in my bedroom. It's like a ginger relaxation candle. I got it at TJ Maxx and I light it at the end of the day and it is euphoric. It is amazing. Oh, I probably should have talked about like favorite TV shows and stuff. Euphoria. That's it. Um, Victoria's Secret Teas is the perfect scent for working out. It is not too heavy. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's not too sultry. It's not too sexy. It's not too perfumey. It's just a perfect scent to put on 
for a workout. It's so yummy. And this is also a hot tip. Those like laundry beads that you can buy to put in with your laundry to make your clothes smell better, put them in. Um, I like the blue beads and the pink beads and they really do make a huge difference and they make your clothes smell really, really good. Laundry beads, they're the best. Um, let's talk about my favorite workouts. I have two. I'm really into Reformer Pilates right now and of course, spin. But I'm really into um, getting into Pilates. So yeah, those are those have been my two favorite workouts. I have to talk to you guys about running. Like I briefly mentioned, I was at the foot doctor because I have like a very angry nerve going on in my foot. So we'll talk about that in another episode. But to help that, Pilates has been huge in cross training. It's been very, very helpful. And last but not least is random. I just wanted to include three random favorites. One of which is my Kindle. I have the Kindle paper white and I love it. It's great. It works perfectly for me and I'm really, really happy with it. That's really all I have to say about it. The Garmin Forerunner 55 is a watch and I love it. I think it's a great watch. Um, it tracks like it has this great app on your phone where you can track everything. It tracks your steps, your calories burned, water intake, your sleep. I love looking at my sleep stats. It tracks your period. It's like awesome. And the last random favorite that I have is my iPad with a pencil. I have an iPad Pro Air. I don't know. I really don't know, but it's an iPad and I love it with the pencil. I've been doing like a lot of digital planning lately. I film my podcast with my iPad. So I'm just really into an iPad with an Apple pencil right now. I like ran through those favorites. I, well, I feel like if I had a co-host, we could talk about them more, but it's just me. So here I am just like, you know, telling you guys, but this was like 40, 41 minutes of me talking about my favorites. That's a lot of favorites to talk about for 41 minutes. So I guess I'm done here, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Manifest with Tori Dismone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's almost my birthday. Um, let me actually see when this episode's going up. So this episode goes live on Monday the 21st. Monday the 28th is obviously next week. And then Monday the 4th is a day after my birthday. So expect for that episode. I think I'm going to do like 24 lessons I learned by 24. I like doing that every year. Um, so yeah, my birthday's on April 3rd. I think I'm going to be at the beach. Well, I know I'm going to be at the beach for my birthday and I'm super excited. So yeah, it's almost my birthday. I can't believe I'm going to be 24 soon. I literally remember being 21, like it was yesterday and then the pandemic hit and suddenly I'm 24. That is so wild to me. So yeah, guys, that is all that I have for you. And, um, guys, thank you so much for, watching and listening to this episode of manifest and i love you guys so much be sure to follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube subscribe to this youtube and i'll talk to you guys all in my next episode bye guys the majority of chronic illnesses stem from inability to manage your blood glucose levels if you know how your body uniquely responds to different foods sleep stress and exercise you can make changes to achieve your health goals from managing weight to optimizing longevity each CGM lasts 14 days, and each subscription plan includes one month of free support from a registered dietitian. NutriSense dietitians will help you identify what you should be paying attention to to achieve your health goals. They will hold your hand on your health journey. And if you are already knowledgeable in the space, they will be able to provide more advanced tips and recommendations. Putting on a CGM is painless. The CGM program also comes with an app which helps you track your data, understand your glucose trends, log meals, see macro breakdowns, and so much more. Head over to NutriSense.io slash manifest and use code manifest for $30 off any subscription to the CGM program. Soft, cozy, and sustainable. Three words I don't usually use when describing my underwear, but that all changed when I tried Parade. Parade makes sustainable, creative basics that are so soft and comfortable, you literally can't wait to put them on. This company launched only two and a half years ago with the mission to make underwear more accessible, inclusive, and self-expressive. Since then, they've sold over 2 million pairs. I absolutely adore Parade and not only their underwear, but also their pajama sets. I am really into Parade. Their high-rise thong has to be literally the comfiest thong I've ever put on in my entire life. It's like butter. I don't even know it's there half the time. And 
Their sleep sets are to die for. I have this really, really cute purple set that I put in one of my Instagram reels and all of you guys went crazy for it. It is so cute. From extra small to triple extra large, Parade's inclusive sizing means you will have zero trouble finding that perfect bralette or pair of underwear. Upgrade your top drawer with an exclusive 20% off Parade. Go to yourparade.com slash manifest and use code manifest to get 20% off. That's yourparade.com slash manifest.